almost bland because at this point my taste boards are no longer nigerian they've transitioned into another i don't know i i, I actually don't know what continent it's not african it's not nigerian i don't know what continent my taste board has traveled to and left me here in Niger. so you guys just you know <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to eating like and you know Nigerians and cheese was if the food is not spicy, we are not eating it. Do you understand? If the food is not spicy, you know you can't even go to a speaker restaurant and nah. It has to be spicy. That's the only way the food will hit. Now imagine me, I'm in Nigeria, my taste bud has gone somewhere else. That's the struggle. That's that's what I'm going through right now. I can't eat normal Niger food and be okay. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'm mostly making this video because I got some interesting questions on my Instagram. Some people are sending me DMs asking me how I've been feeling so far after the after the raw vegan diet and I was like, okay, this could be a good topic for the YouTube channel. Share my refeeding process and whatnot. It's been a journey. <laughs> it's been a journey. I tell you guys, it's been a journey. Okay, so I've been introducing normal food like cooked food, rice. Have I had pasta yet? Oh, I've not had pasta yet. Oh, I have. No pasta, spaghetti though. Rice, spaghetti, and swallow. And you know, the normal Niger food now. But it's not been as rosy i mean i knew it wasn't going to be rosy like transitioning to eating cooked food again but well let's talk about it <laughs> so i've not really just been eating only cooked food i'm still deciding if i actually want to continue eating cooked food or if i should just stick to my um raw vegan diet plan and occasionally eat cooked food right so that that's that's where that's where we're at right now that's the stage i'm at right now but to answer most of the questions from my instagram it hasn't been rosy it has been hell so some days back i had a um, swallow vegetable soup and that was the worst mistake of my life i was in pain my stomach was cramping i would see I didn't get relief until I threw, like, until I vomited, if I, yeah, sorry for that, forgive me, but, like, that was how bad it was, like, I was in so much pain, man, I don't think I'm going to be touching swallow or vegetable soup, if I swallow any soup, except, I don't even know, maybe I'll try oats, because I had semu, maybe I'll try having oats, and see, like, if I'll still have that same effect, but like the semu and the vegetable soup was terrible. I felt so sick. I was useless for the entire day. Like I was in bed, I was in pain. I don't wish that on anybody. Um, rice, bland food has actually been okay. I've been feeling all right eating bland food. The problem now is when I eat spicy food, right? Or overly seasoned food, man, that is hell. Like I actually struggle if I eat like over this in food like it's a big struggle it's a major struggle for me so not too spicy in fact almost bland almost bland because at this point my taste boards are no longer nigerian they've transitioned into another i don't know I, I, I actually don't know what continent it's not african it's not nigerian i don't know what continent my taste board has traveled to and left me here in Niger. so you guys just you know <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to eating like and you know Nigerians and cheese was if the food is not spicy, we are not eating it. Do you understand? If the food is not spicy, you know you can't even go to a speaker restaurant and nah. It has to be spicy. That's the only way the food will hit. Now imagine me, I'm in Nigeria, my taste bud has gone somewhere else. That's the struggle. That's that's what I'm going through right now. I can't eat normal Niger food and be okay. So I'm thinking I might just like find the balance, gradually introduce it. But I mean, right now I think I'll just still continue the raw vegan. Like I'll just still continue the raw vegan. Like mix it up, right? Raw vegan, Niger dishes, raw vegan. Still find a way to 
enjoy Nigerian dishes without the spices. Um, well, I don't know how that would be sure, but I will try. Um, what other questions did I get? Oh, how have I been feeling? I've been feeling okay. I've been feeling all right. I've been feeling. I'm actually still losing weight, which is actually a surprise. Anyway, I won't call it a surprise because my stomach has actually shrunk, so I can't eat like as I used to eat before. <laughs> I used to eat all. I used to eat back then, so I can't eat as I used to eat before I transitioned to raw vegan. So right now, just a little portion, and I'm just so full. So I think that's why I'm actually still losing weight because I have actually not introduced workout back into my daily routine. I'm thinking I'll start that soon, like start working out, and then I might make videos about like my workout process. And um, I was working out with Anna. Um, I can't remember her other name, but Anna on YouTube before I um, study raw vegan. So I think I'll just continue working out with Anna again because her routines we are hitting every core. But now it's going to be different because I'm going to be working out and eating healthy. Before I was just working out for the sake of working out, I wasn't eating healthy or anything. So yeah, that's that. So the refueling process hasn't been as rosy as I hoped. Even though a part of me knew that it was going to be, you know, but it hasn't been as rosy as I hoped. So that's making me now reconsider this transitioning back. So a friend told me yesterday, she was like, see girl, you need to start eating food again. I'm like, it's scary because every time I eat food, like I feel funny, cramps or something. So like, I think I just have to let go of, I don't know, maybe it's probably all in my head. I just have to let go of it. I'm like, just enjoy this meal. Don't hope for any negative effects. Just enjoy it. And I mean, it all starts from our mind, right? So yeah, I think that I'm going to start doing like try to enjoy the meals, but I'm still like sticking to the raw vegan. And have I asked, have I started eating meat? No, I haven't started eating meat. I haven't started eating chicken. Um, I had egg once, and I had um prawns in my spaghetti when i eat spaghetti and that's the most should i say animal protein i've had in my meal <laughs> so yeah but no i haven't started eating meat i don't think i'll be introducing meat um in a long while i may or may not introduce chicken later maybe next year but for this year it's cancelled like i think i'll just stick to like prawns and you know fish um yeah about that that's yes that's what i'm going to stick to i don't i don't really want to upset my body especially with red meat i don't really want to um, upset my body with eating red meat or introducing red meat or anything of that nature so we we'll just stick to white you know seafood eventually chicken breast but i'm i'm not even thinking of that for this year i'm thinking about next year like 2023 that would be the problem. It's not this year's problem. <laughs> you get. So yeah, that's about that. Um, from my last video, someone said I should do a raw vegan mukbang, and I don't know about that, fam. I might consider it in the nearest future, but for now, I don't know about that. And then I was asked to share my recipes. Truly, I didn't really have a recipe per se. I was following. I was just like putting things together but i was i made like some videos for ig um yeah that's mostly what i did so i think i'll just go back to those videos and now make a proper video for youtube on since i had like what i eat in a day on a raw vegan diet i think that should give an insight on like the typical things i have been eating that should help for anyone like considering doing this so we've come to the end of this video and as always i want I love to know your thoughts and I want to know what other videos you want to see because I'm actually like still trying to forge a path for this YouTube channel and I think we're on the right track right now but like still give me video ideas guys please just hit me with your video ideas and I promise I'm going to bring them to life for you so <laughs> thank you so much for watching and hit the like button share this video with your friends leave a comment i love reading your comments i'm definitely going to respond to every comment and subscribe if you're yet to subscribe 
help this little youtuber grow fam do it for your girl okay thank you for watching and oh you can also check me out on instagram i have a highlight on everything i ate throughout my raw vegan diet so just the highlight is raw vegan eats um at the lifestyle girl i'm going to link it down here so kiss me up follow me you know the drill thank you guys love you